ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் சுனீதா கிளாடிஸ் கனகா ஃப்ரம் புல் வித்யாசிரம் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஐ எம் ஃபைன் தேங்க் யூ சில்ட்ரன் நவ் வெல்கம் டு த இங்கிலீஷ் கிளாஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அ கிராமர் டாபிக் தட் இஸ் ப்ரோனவுன்ஸ் அண்ட் அ ரைட்டிங் ஸ்கில்ஸ் டாபிக் தட் இஸ் நோட்டிஸ் ரைட்டிங் இஸ் இன் இட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் தென் குவிக்லி கம் let us start we have learned that nouns refer to words that are used to name persons things animals places ideas or events pronouns are words that can be used in place of nouns a pronoun can replace any kind of noun it can replace a singular as well as a plural noun using pronouns help us to avoid using the same nouns repeatedly in sentences that follow one another for example have you read this book it is a best seller here pronoun it represents the book the next example malini bought new pens she kept them in the cupboard here the pronoun she represents malini and pronoun them represents new pens now types of pronouns there are seven types of pronouns they are personal pronouns reflexive pronouns emphatic pronouns possessive pronouns demonstrative pronouns relative pronouns and interrogative pronouns let me explain one by one in detail to you okay the first one is personal pronouns personal pronouns are words that are used to replace nouns that name people places animals and things the words i me you it he him she her we us they and them are personal pronouns these pronouns can refer to the first person second person or third person first person is the person who is speaking and the first person pronouns are i me we and us second person is the person who is being directly spoken to and the second person pronoun is you third person is the person who is being spoken about and the third person pronouns are he him she her it they and them shall we do two examples okay first one is nivit said he wants to join dash for the nag tiba trick and the two pronouns given here are us and we which one will you choose to fill the blank nivit said he wants to join us for the nagtiba trick second one are you going to watch the new action film dash i am not interested and the two pronouns given here are me and i which one will you choose to fill the blank i very good i am not interested now a note when we say first second or third person the word person does not mean only humans it can refer to animals or things too is that clear children now a pronoun can be the subject or object of a sentence for example karim spoke first he gave a powerful speech here 
he is the pronoun and he represents kareem kareem is the subject so he is the subject pronoun next one the coach met the team and offered them very useful tips here them is the pronoun and it represents the team team is the object so it is the object pronoun now follow the table to find out which are the subject pronouns and which are the object pronouns now the second one is reflexive pronouns and third one is emphatic pronouns both these pronouns end with self that is for singular or selves for plural for example first person pronouns are myself ourselves second person pronouns are yourself yourselves and third person pronouns are himself herself itself and themselves now one example for reflexive pronoun we went on a vacation to relax and enjoy ourselves an example for emphatic pronoun we ourselves had no idea about the surprise now let me check whether you have understood what is reflexive pronoun and what is emphatic pronoun are you ready now look here circle the reflexive pronoun and underline the emphatic pronoun first sentence who washed your bicycle i cleaned it myself second one kishan himself collected the sheets into a bundle okay now tell me the answer which one is reflexive pronoun and which one is emphatic pronoun i cleaned it myself myself is the pronoun here which one is that reflexive or emphatic reflexive very good kishan himself himself so himself is emphatic pronoun very good children keep it up the fourth type is possessive pronouns pronouns are also used to show possession words such as mine ours yours his hers and theirs are called possessive pronouns for example the last house in this lane is mine mine is the possessive pronoun the second one we will do our work let them do theirs theirs is the possessive pronoun now fill in the blanks with the correct possessive pronouns the personal pronouns are given in the bracket to help you first one have you met mauli she is a friend of dash me me is given there the helping word is me so how will you fill that have you met mauli she is a friend of mine second one this laptop is dash her is the helping word how will you fill this this laptop is hers very good the fifth type is demonstrative pronouns they are used to point to people or objects the words this that these and those are demonstrative pronouns this and these are used for people or objects that are nearby that and those are used for people or objects at a distance for example this is a beautiful picture frame those are the students whom the principal wants to congratulate the sixth type of pronoun is relative pronouns listen to these sentences you gifted me a book 
It is very interesting. The book that you gifted me is very interesting. We often join two sentences with words such as that, who, whom, which and whose. These words help us to refer back to the subject of the sentence. They are called relative pronouns. For example, she is the one who helped me find my way home. Now, complete these sentences with relative pronouns. Just give a try. He is the chemist. Dash gives free medicines to the poor. Second one. This is the book. Dash I bought at the book fair. What is the first answer? He is the chemist who gives. Second one. This is the book which I bought at the book fair. So who and which are the relative pronouns used here. Now the seventh type is interrogative pronouns. The pronouns who, whom, which, whose and what are also used to frame questions. When used to frame questions, these pronouns are called interrogative pronouns. For example, who will guide us through the national sanctuary? Now do this easy exercise. Identify the underlined pronouns and write their kinds. First one, Kanika likes drawing and painting. She has joined art classes. Second one, the cup was gifted to me by a friend. It is mine. Third one, who will get the flowers from the shop? Fourth one, Shika herself designed these posters. Fifth one, the boy who brought the saplings is the gardener's son. Sixth one, Sharda and I are going to a concert. We will enjoy ourselves. Seventh one, do you see the cafe? It was started in 1953. Eighth one, the house itself was good, but the surroundings weren't the most desirable. Ninth, these are the drawings I made last weekend. Tenth one, Nivedita told her sister that the scissors were hers. Eleventh, the group said that they were going to teach themselves the game. Twelfth, which is the dress that you bought last week? Now pause the video and quickly write the answers. Now the answers are first one, personal. Second one, possessive. Third one, interrogative. Fourth one, emphatic. Fifth one, relative. Sixth one, reflexive. Seventh one, personal. Eighth one, emphatic. Ninth one, demonstrative. Tenth one, possessive. Eleventh one, reflexive. And twelfth one, interrogative. The next topic is notice writing. A notice is a short piece of written information issued by an individual, group or an institution. It is meant for the members of the organization or general public for a specific purpose. It may be a formal announcement about things to take place in future. A notice may be about an event, meeting, competition, celebration, admission, lost and found or change of name. A notice is pinned 
or affixed on the notice board of the institution. Government agencies publish their notices in the newspapers. The word limit for a notice may be 40 to 50 words. This is the format to follow the notice writing. And here is a sample notice. Now it's time for you to write a notice. Here ends the session on pronouns and notice writing. Hope you must have understood the topics covered. Thank you for watching and listening. Bye from Sunita Gladys Kanaka.